What is going on everybody? Eric here and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago, I told you and I promised you that I would be doing an unboxing of an SX-70 sonar that I picked up at a flea market at a swap meet a few weeks back. Here it is. We're gonna go through top to bottom of everything that came in this case. The guy that purchased it bought this camera in 1979. I can't wait to show you what's in it, but first do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that way you stay notified every single time I make a video just like this one. Let's get into it. Polaroid introduces sonar automatic focusing. This camera sends out inaudible sound waves that bounce off the subject and return in a split second. The lens automatically rotates to perfect focus. You can get a precisely focused picture every time in minutes at the touch of one button. The new Sonar One Steps from Polaroid, the world's simplest camera. Okay, everybody, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into this case. First off, we have this all leather case that this camera came in. I didn't know that it was gonna come with the case. When I saw the camera that the guy had for sale, I was inquiring about it, I was asking the questions about it, and I, you know, made the decision to buy the camera. Then he went into, it's kind of like a creepy van, and he grabbed off this case. And I didn't look at what was inside of it until I got home, so we're gonna go through it. The first thing I did take out, was this manual it was folded in half and so I took it uh, out of the case so that way it wouldn't be damaged anymore but uh, it's just it's like a beautiful manual with just instructions and tips on how you can take photos with your SX-70 you know we get really small manuals now with the Polaroid one step two and the one step plus and seeing something like this is really, really interesting because it really lets you know how much thought and time and care they put into designing the manual for you to use. Um, I think this was a bigger one that was kind of standard across the SX-70 cameras in general and not specific to the SX-70 sonar. So super cool manual in there. That was the first thing I took out. And like I said, it's got this bow to it. So I was trying to flatten it out so that way it would be easier trying to show it to you guys. So that's the first thing that we have in the bag. Now, opening it up. I'm gonna use my phone here as a weight. First thing we have obviously is, again, the SX-70 Sonar, a beautiful camera. Um, it's, it's been one of my favorite cameras to use and shoot with in the past few months and I'm just loving the results that I'm getting. I love the control that I get. If you're looking for a Polaroid camera that you can have as a photographer more control of, you want to be able to control some of the focus, you want to be able to control um, objects that are in focus or out of focus or you want to have do some long exposure things with the Polaroid camera, the S670 is the camera that you need. So definitely consider looking for one or trying to get your hands on one if you want to get a little bit more creative with your instant photos. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this off to the side while we go through what else is in this bag. Okay, getting right in. Um, I'm seeing that we have a Sylvania flash bar. Um, these were standard, um, which you would use for the SX-70. They mount right here on the top. So if you were gonna take a photo, um, you would have to buy this external flash bar and then it would use each one of these compartments. They're double-sided and that's how you would actually be able to shoot with flash. So that's sweet. Oh, this is cool. So we have a brand new in the box, never been used before, camera strap for the SX-70. Comes with a diagram on how you would get that. Um, but as we can see, it's still in the original packaging. Printed in the USA. That's pretty sweet. That's cool. All right, what else we got? So we have a Polaroid self timer. This is sweet. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. You know, we're so spoiled now. We just click the button and it counts down. Um, this is really sweet. It's got the directions on the back on how you would use it. Is it in here though? Boom. This is the self timer. Essentially this would attach onto the camera and then you would wind this piece right here and that would allow you to, to, to just decide how many seconds you want. Oh, there's actually even an instruction manual in here as well. That's sweet. 
everything you need to know on how to use this is in here. It's super cool finding an, an original accessory like this still brand new in the box. That's awesome. So moving on, looks like we do have some Polaroids that were taken. We got some old dark slides. And what was cool about the dark slides is that it, they actually have like instructions on them. And then we actually have some photos. It looks like his wife. These are pretty cool. Old Christmas tree. These are sweet. I'm gonna assume that's him and his wife. Some photos in an old gallery. These are really cool. Oh, and he actually wrote the year on them. So you can see, it looks like 1980 these were taken, which makes sense um, because I think um, there's a receipt in here from 1979 when he actually purchased this camera from this small little camera shop in San Diego, which is no longer there. Oh, nice. So we actually do have the Polaroid manual for the SX-70 sonar. And this seems like a more manageable size that you can actually keep with you. He's got some, some of his own personal notes written in there. And again, this is a manual with some, whoop. This is a manual, whoop. This is a manual with a lot of pictures, a lot of detail, um, a lot of tips and tricks on how to get the best uh, shots, the best results, diagrams on how to use to, to override the sonar function if you wanted to control the, the focus yourself. It's in there. And I wonder, maybe one of you out there know, when you buy an SX-70, um, whether it be a regular one or a sonar from Polaroid Originals websites, do you get like a manual like this? Do you get an original one or do you get one that's updated and printed you know, 2017, 2018. Let me know in the comments below. I've never met anybody who's actually purchased an XX70 from the website, mainly because I think the price point is a little out of reach for most people, but maybe you have, maybe you're out there. Let me know in the comments below if uh, you get a manual like this, um, like this original one. Also cool, on the back, there's all these Polaroid service centers um, all across the world, in California, Hawaii, Denmark, France, Switzerland, Venezuela. Uh, Italy, Japan, Ohio, um, Puerto Rico. It's so cool to see the reach that Polaroid had once upon a time. So that's dope, original manual. Polaroid Picture Perfect Coupon Book. Contains replacement coupons good for 10 packs of Polaroid SX-70 color film. Oh, they're empty. Let me read what this is. Whoa, get this, check this out. It says the Polaroid Picture Perfect Guarantee. The Polaroid Picture Perfect Guarantee. Here's what it says. Polaroid will replace any pictures taken with your sonar camera that you don't like for whatever reason. Up to 10 packs of film. Up to one year from the date of camera purchase. Simply collect 10 SX-70 pictures that you're dissatisfied with and close them with one of the completed coupons found in this book and send both to the address indicated below and in four to six weeks, you'll receive a free pack of film in the mail directly from Polaroid. And it lists the Polaroid Corporation P.O. box that was in a Cathedral Station at Boston, Massachusetts. That's so cool. Imagine if there was like a, a program like that today where like for whatever reason, you just put those in an envelope, sent them back, and then Polaroid Original sends you um, a new pack of film. I don't know about you, but I think that would be a really, really, really good idea. I mean, that would be amazing for just marketing and no other company's doing that. And no other company was doing what Polaroid was doing back in the 70s and the 80s. And that's why they're so iconic to this day. Now, I did do a video prior that was talking about how you got a free Polaroid camera at Disneyland. This is the Disneyland Polaroid manual that is in there. If you've seen it, I'll link that video up, up here so you can check that out for yourself. Um, and it goes through this manual in depth. Again, more photo tips, but specifically around Disneyland, which is really, really cool. Um, back when they had that partnership with Polaroid. And the last few things that are in here. Again, this looks like an original check that the guy, Patrick Shower, purchased this camera for. February 11th, oh no, no, no. 
this was the Polaroid picture guarantee. So he sent these photos into Polaroid on February 11th, 1980. So cool. And then the Polaroid promotional uh, refund, they actually sent him an envelope back, which I'm assuming um, with the pack of film in there as well. Wow, this is super old. Also, it looks like there's some old news article. Oh wow, so it looks like there's an old news article, um, original newsprint from the newspaper here, San Diego Union Tribune, which is still being in production today. Um, and as I'm kind of just skimming it, it looks like it's highlighting some of the local photographers in the San Diego area, uh, specifically shooting black and white film and what they do specifically um, that they do well and makes them kind of their own unique photographer. So it's really cool that that was being covered even way back then. So there you have it, people. That is everything that came in the case for my Polaroid SX-70 Sonar. A lot of cool stuff, stuff I've never even seen before. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen some of this stuff. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate every single subscriber and I appreciate every single person that takes the time to watch my videos and to give them a like. Until the next one, take care.